So I actually have a little bit of a fragrance confession to make. I have never tried Be Layered. I know that they are an incredibly well-known fragrance house that is best known for their dupes, but I was most interested in trying their original blends because they have so many fragrances with these gorgeous names and the note breakdown sound so intriguing, I had to try them out. So this video is in collaboration with Be Layered. I have a few of their original scents here that I wanted to share with you guys, let you know what they smell like, how to layer them. Of course, a lot of these layer so beautifully together. I've tried a couple layering combos, but I'm still playing around. And there are some really great smelling affordable gems in this lineup. So if that sounds interesting to you, then just keep on watching. If you are new here, my name is Yana. This is The Scented. We talk about all things fragrance. So if that's your jam, make sure you hit that big red button, the bell, stay tuned for new videos coming up and let's get started the first one i have here is sand delicious this is i think their newest release and it is a sandalwood dominant scent i worry with sandalwood sometimes that it goes in the dill direction this doesn't have that at all this smells like a beautiful almost spicy wood it makes me think of the wood in a sauna it has a nice slightly spiced citrus like a candied orange like a christmasy style type of citrus it reminds me a little bit of a fragrance that I talked about before that's a discontinued one called Fendi Theorema. Also, if you like the Hermes L'Ambre de Merveille and Elixir de Merveille lineup, then I think you would enjoy this as well. It's a little bit more on the spicy side. So beautiful, such a perfect fall scent. This just smells so cozy and it's super, super unisex. This one is the most unisex out of the whole bunch that I have here. I think it would smell fantastic on men as well. To me, this one definitely smells like niche quality. So the fact that it is an affordable scent is really impressive. When I wore Sandalicious, I did layer it with Gelato once and Gelato is like their main layering scent. It's basically whipped cream and ice cream. It adds a creamy facet and a gourmand touch to basically any scent, whether from Be Layered or not. And it's a really nice, smooth, slightly sweet creamy scent on its own it is pretty one-dimensional but it's still really pretty it really just smells like a vanilla soft serve for me personally i wouldn't wear it on its own but it is a perfect one for layering for any fragrance that you feel is missing that creaminess or you're craving a little bit more of a gourmand touch that day it's really nice it's layered beautifully with sand delicious it was just like a nice creamy but spicy sandalwood scent very very cozy Great one for layering. And in terms of performance, both Sand Delicious and Gelato, they do last quite a while. I mean, Gelato is a layering scent, so on its own, I don't know about the performance, but it does smell still in that blend. When I layer it, I smell the, the combo for a good five to six hours. Same thing with Sand Delicious. It lasted about six to seven hours, actually. That one was quite a long lasting scent. Next up is Bloom Eternal. This one has notes of neroli jasmine citrus lavender it based on the note breakdown it made me think that it would be similar to ysl libre but it's not it reminds me of something but i can't put my finger on it it reminds me of something familiar it is a lovely uplifting scent but it is a familiar scent it's not particularly unique it, it is a good affordable scent but i'm not mind blown by this one the performance honestly wasn't the strongest it was about two to three hours, but it's nice. I wish I could figure out what it smells like. If you guys have tried Bloom Eternal, please comment and let me know what it reminds you of. This one is a favorite of mine. This is Arabica Roast, and this is the perfect coffee scent. This is hands down the coffee scent that I have been looking for. It's perfectly balanced with a tiny bit of sweetness, not too much sweetness, a little bit of creaminess, like those fresh ground coffee beans, like you just made fresh ground coffee beans and made yourself a nice double-double. That's what we call two creams, two sugars here in Canada. This is what it smells like. A really nice fresh double-double. So good. I don't drink double-doubles anymore. That was a thing from back in like high school and early university that is way too sweet for me to drink now. I drink my coffee black or like a latte, but sometimes I do crave that scent and Again, not too sweet. Actually, the type of coffee that's in here reminds me a little bit of Coffee Break from Maison Margiela, except that scent has a lot more lavender and like a milkiness. This one's really, really about the coffee. 
it's delicious. This one layers really nicely with gelato as well. Ice cream and coffee. It's really delicious. I think this is probably my favorite from this entire lineup. I will go over the must-haves from this list at the very end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But this one will definitely be up there. I love this one so much. The performance on it is strong. I got a good seven hours out of this one, and it's so addictive. Like, as a coffee addict, this is my jam. By the way, if you guys did want to check out any of these fragrances, I do have a promo code for you. It's the scented 15. It'll get you 15% off your order. They're already really affordable, so that code makes them even more affordable. And moving on to the next fragrance is Enchanted Garden. This one, the name, the name was what got me. I was like, Enchanted Garden, that sounds like something whimsical, fairy-esque. I'm thinking like twinkly little lights and, you know, just magical. And it does kind of provide that atmosphere. It actually reminds me of a blend, something between Jo Malone's English Pear and Freesia and the discontinued Gucci Envy, which used to be my most favorite fragrance. So this one has that little bit of nostalgia in there. It's floral, green, fresh, uplifting, very feminine, dainty, clean, and elegant. It's a really, really nice scent. I was excited to wake up in the morning and splash this on. This is such a, like, pick me up in the morning. The perfect daytime scent for me, especially, like, if you need that extra zing in the mornings. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel so lovely. So this one, definitely up there for me. The notes in here are jasmine rose gardenia there's some sweet fruit pulp and some citruses it doesn't really tell you what the scent is like it, this this does have a little bit of like twinkly magic to it i really love this one next up is serendipity the fragrances are available in these 10 ml bottles as well this is a really sexy sweet fragrance this has raspberry tuberose milk, orange blossom. It smells really, really nice. It's, this is a great date night scent. It's along the lines of, if you like Parfums de Marly, Oriana, Love by Killian. As well, it made me think of like Givenchy, L'Entredi, that sort of white floral, and even like a sweeter version of Dior's Pure Poison. That, those types of fragrances is what came to mind for me. It's along that vein. So if you enjoy those, you will definitely enjoy Serendipity. I think this does smell quite expensive. It smells like the direction that a lot of niche fragrances take, and it is a super sexy date night scent. And this one performed so well. This one lasted me all day, like fully the entire day I could smell it. It leaves such a big scent bubble, but it's not too heavy. It's actually airy and light enough for you not to be overwhelmed by that scent. I do think this is a really, really well done scent. I have tried layering it with gelato. That was pretty good, but I do just like the scent on its own, truly. And then we have Paradise. This has musky notes, floral notes, a woodiness, and pomegranate. Pomegranate is the main fruity note in here, though I also get kind of a coconutty vibe. This one smells like a luxury vacation. It actually reminds me a little bit of the new release from M. Mikalev called Soleil Passion. They're in a similar vein, and that one is also a pomegranate fragrance. I know a lot of you guys probably haven't smelled that one yet because it is brand new, but I just am going with what the scent profile reminds me of. It's nice, it's refreshing, but it isn't super long lasting. So I only got about two ish hours out of this one. At least I couldn't smell it on myself after two hours, but it is a very nice vacation y type of scent. And finally, we have Danielle's Milk Bath. This is for the people seeking a true soapy scent. This smells like a luxury soap. It actually reminded me a little bit of Fragrance Dubois Heritage, which is so expensive, but it has that soapy scent. This is quite similar, and it is just the perfect fragrance to put on right after the shower in the evening. It's very cozy. It's a one-dimensional, calm, soothing, clean scent, super long-lasting. This one, I could smell on myself the next morning, and I know largely that is because I put it on fresh out of the shower on clean skin, and it helps to get a fragrance to perform really well, but it is a super long-lasting scent. It's beautiful for people that are seeking a true soapy scent. I highly recommend this for soapy fragrance lovers. It does smell quite luxurious, but at the same time, true soap. 
So now that we've reached the end, I will tell you my absolute favorite ones that I think are complete must-haves. Arabica Roast for me is an absolute must-have for people that love coffee. This is the coffee fragrance, period. I was so impressed, truly, truly so impressed. This just delivers everything that I'm looking for in a coffee fragrance. Super happy with this one. It is my favorite. It is super long lasting. It's just perfection for me in terms of a coffee fragrance. The other one that I really love is Sand Delicious. This one smells expensive. It does smell like a beautiful unisex niche scent a little bit spicy, very comforting, warm. I really like this type of scent profile, especially going into fall. This is exactly what I'm craving. For me, oh my God, a sandalwood scent without any dill, like hallelujah. My third favorite is Enchanted Garden. This just gives me nostalgia. It reminds me of a fragrance that I absolutely used to love that is discontinued. And I also really love English Pear and Freesia. I don't know why, it reminds me of those two fragrances. It is a clean, slightly sweet, very uplifting, feminine scent. This is like a go-to morning scent for me. So those are my top three that I think are absolute must-haves, but I think Serendipity is gonna be a crowd favorite. Like, I do really like that one, but it's more of a evening kind of date night situation for me. It is quite sweet, but I know that type of scent profile is a beloved type of scent profile and I think that most women will really love that one and I think men would find it really, really sexy as well, just kind of from an objective perspective. If you guys have tried any of these, please let me know what your favorite ones are and if you have any layering combos that you wanna recommend me, I will definitely try out those layering combos. It is so fun to play and layer with these. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you did want to check out any of these, my code is thescented15 for 15% off your order. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.